Hello, M Soul. Welcome to my watery world. Today's game will lead you to a little DIY project that will make you very popular with the kiddos and anybody who needs a stress relieving doodad. Answer my riddles and be rewarded with this surprising mermaid treat. Ready, M Soul? Riddle me this. Can you see through me? Yes, you can see through me, and I can move through you. What am I? Riddle number two. When you want to have a feast and there's no yeast, use me and I'll make things rise. Can you name me? I'm the prize. Riddle number three. When you're baking and you see dough that doesn't look yummy, turn to me and I will be the saving grace. You will see what am I. Riddle number four. I was once a stallion free, running down a track with glee. Lo, if I should break a leg, don't send me to the factory, I'll beg. What have I become? Riddle number five. I rhyme with Twitter, spitter, fitter, and litter. What sparkly thing am I? Riddle number six. I could be directly in front of your eyes and still you'd never see me. What could I be? So nice to be out here on a summer's day. Okay, I'm sold. Time's up. Let's review. In riddle number one, you can see through me. I can move through you. What am I? Warm water. And we're going to need a half a cup of warm water. In riddle number two, when you want to have a feast and there's no yeast, use me. It's baking soda. A half teaspoon is required. And riddle number three, when you're baking and you see a dough that doesn't look yummy, turn to me and I will be your saving grace. It's food coloring. And for this, you're going to need green and blue because, of course, this is a mermaid treat. I love green and blue. All right, riddle me number four. I was once a stallion free running down a track with glee. Lo, if I should break a leg. Does anybody know what happened to horses that broke a leg on a racetrack? They were sent to the factory to become glue. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, kiddos. Your glue is not made of horses anymore. But we're going to need a half a cup of clear glue. In riddle number five, I rhyme with Twitter, spitter, litter, fitter, and a sparkly thing I am. It is glitter, of course, because mermaids love glittery, shiny things. We love our shiny treasures. All right. And for this... You're going to want to use glitter colors like the white, silver, teal, and blue. Maybe a little purple in there for some of you. I'm not sure. But definitely the teal and blue looks really good in this. Riddle number six. I could be directly in front of your eyes and still you'd never see me, but at least you can see it all. That's contact lenses. And what we need here is contact lens solution. You should actually be able to find that even in dollar stores or your local pharmacy. Yeah. Okay, ooh, I almost dried up there. I gotta make sure I stay wet. Keep my tail on. <laughs> oh, that was a close call. So, Venus, you may ask, what does this make? It's mermaid slime. No matter how old you are, it's de stressing. It's relaxing to play with. You wanna smush something? Slime. You wanna squeeze something? Slime. You wanna ooze something through your fingers over and over again? slime. Also, it makes a nice surprise gift. Make a few batches and go visiting. Be the light in someone's day. <laughs> no, but seriously, here's how we're going to put our mermaid slime together. First, you've got to find all the pieces that you need and then gather your supplies and materials. Combine the main ingredients 
Stir together the warm water and the baking soda. Add one drop of green food coloring and two drops of the blue food coloring and stir. Pour in the clear glue and stir again to combine it. Now add your glitter to the bowl. Pour in whatever glitter colors you think fit your mermaid slime. Potentially measure about one teaspoon of iridescent white glitter. Ooh, iridescent is going to look so nice. Three quarter teaspoon of teal and a half teaspoon of blue or as you like. Stir the glitter into the glue and water mixture until it's well combined. Keep squishing there, Emsol. Now you're going to add the slime activator. Pour the contact lens solution into the bowl. Stir well until it turns into slime. Here's some tips. If your slime is too sticky, add another half tablespoon of contact lens solution, a little bit at a time, drop by drop, stirring as you go so you don't thin this out. Stir to combine. Knead the slime well. You should be able to pick it up without it sticking to your hands. Your mermaid slime is complete. You can even add seashell shaped beads or gemstone like beads into the slime for more of a mermaid cash effect because mermaids do so love collecting shiny treasures. Also, adults should use their best judgment to make sure children are taking proper safety precautions. Be sure to wash your hands after playing with the slime to remove any chemical residue from the other ingredients. Don't put it in your mouth now. Mm -hmm. 